let the peace of the Lord be with you, my dear friends. Once there was a little boy who was strolling in a garden. He saw a pond, went to it, and he saw many fish in the pond. He enjoyed seeing the fish swimming, but suddenly one of the fish kicked itself out and it fell on the ground. The little boy immediately ran towards it, he picked it up, he opened her mouth and he blew frantically in its mouth to revive her, to give her life. But unfortunately, after a few moments, the fish died. Perhaps some of you could tell me, why didn't he throw it in the pond? Because fish live in water. And you are so right, my dear friends. But sometimes what this little boy did is what we do when we confront our problems, our difficulties in life. Sometimes we think that alone we can do things, we can do great things. But you know that Jesus told us, without me, you can't do nothing. And Jesus told us to go to him. He said, come to me, all of you who labor, and I will give you rest. My dear friends, this also happened to Bartimaeus, the blind beggar that we are going to listen to in this 30th Sunday Gospel. Bartimaeus was a blind beggar. He wasn't blind from birth, as we read, but he became blind. And he was resigned to stay in that situation. Perhaps his blindness was an illness that affected his vision. And so he lost his family, he lost his friends, he lost his house, he lost his money, everything. And so he was resigned to live as a beggar, staying along the road and begging for alms. But my dear friends, God knows what is in our hearts. And Jesus knew about Bartimaeus, so he passed through that road. And when Bartimaeus heard Jesus' voice and all the crowd that was following him, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The crowd wanted him to shut up, but he shouted even more. And he said, son of David, have pity on me. And Jesus stopped immediately. That is what God does when he hears a profound prayer from someone who needs help. He will stop. And that is what Jesus did. And he said to the crowd, bring him here. And they went to him. And on the contrary to what they said to him before, they said to him, Come, come, Bartimaeus, Jesus is calling you. And Bartimaeus threw away his cloak, which was his only guarantee of life, and he went straight to Jesus. My dear friends, we also have to throw away, to put away our cloak, which burdens us. And what is our cloak? Perhaps it's our anger, it's our hatred, it's our jealousy, it's our addictions, those and others we must put off, we must take off so that we will be free to embrace our God or better to let God embrace us and to give us freedom to do what gives us true joy and that is what Bartimaeus received. He went to Jesus and Jesus told him, what do you want from me? And Bartimaeus said, to see again, master. And Jesus told him, you are a man of faith. Let it be as you wish. And in that moment, Bartimaeus regained his vision and he continued following Jesus. 
praising God for what he had received from Jesus. Yes, my friends, that was the secret of Bartimaeus. As that fish, he was dying on the road, on the side road. But he decided, when he heard Jesus' voice, he decided to go and put himself in God's hand, as that little boy would have done if he had put again that fish in water. And Bartimaeus did that. He put himself into God's bosom, into God's hand, and he received life again. Greetings from the Hermitage of Laverna, my dear friends, where Saint Francis received 800 years ago, received the stigmata. May God bless you and give you peace. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Take care.